And so, but here's my thing so when it comes to the chance for The first lie is like you're believing a lie that you were created in the wrong body. Because if you believe in God, God doesn't create God's not doesn't do anything imperfect. Everything's perfect. He he created you for a purpose. He created you. If you believe um, this is this is for those that believe. All right, the other lie is that okay, let's say you just 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 throw away the whole religion side of it. The first transgender surgery was a botched job and it was based on a lie. John Money lied. Okay, and he said this whole theory worked and it didn't. And the first person that went from transition from male to female was a boy. There were two twin boys, right? Botched uh, um, circumcision for one of the twins, chopped off his dick. John Money's like, hey, it's nature over nurture. We could make him believe he's a girl. We could do this surgery and you just raise him as a girl and then he think he is a girl and they'll be fine. That backfired. Okay, that boy that was raised as a girl knew that something was wrong with him. He didn't understand. He didn't want to wear dresses. He wanted to do boy shit. And then, you know what? Come to find out, he finds out in his teenage years that he's a boy. And then, like, there's a whole bunch of sick, like, sexual stuff that him and his brother had to do with this doctor, right? And this guy, John Money, who wrote the transgender theory, and that's where we get transgenderism. Now, so if you go back to the beginning of it, it was all based on a lie. Because the kid, after he found out when he was an adult, a teenager, was a boy, he goes back to being a boy. He went from Brenda to David and tried to live his life normal. His brother committed suicide because of the shit that he had to do with his brother. And then David, who was Brenda, ends up committing suicide. Because he couldn't just live with everything that he had to go through. So transgenderism in itself, the theory that where we get it now, was based on a lie. And we're wondering why people are suffering with it. So I, I, have, I have a question. This is good stuff. Do you feel it's a mental disorder? Yes. And do you feel it's a mental disorder because it's coming from outside influences? Well, it's a mental disorder because it was a diagnosed of mental disorder in the DSM-4 when it was considered uh, body dysmorphia why or gender it, dysmorphia. Okay, but why is it growing? I believe it's because of uh, it's, legacy media. Yep. I believe it's from the teachers. I believe it's from association. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe that, the, what they say, 7% of the youth. I think it's a feminism. It goes back to feminism. Sure. And, you know, because, you know, let's destroy the nuclear family. Yeah, I did an interview with. Um, well, BLM did the same thing. Yeah, they were, they were gay, lesbian women, black mm-hmm. women. And it wasn't about black people. It never was about black. I remember talking Are you talking about, about this. Black Lives Matter. Yeah, you mean I, you know the ones that just filed Chapter Thirteen? No, how many, no, how many, how many it, black lives did they help? Yeah, exactly. And I was talking about this in 2019, 2020. And mm-hmm. I used to get chastised on the internet about it. Mm-hmm. And Uncle Tom, all this stuff. I said, thanks for the compliment, by the way. Uh, like, hey, you got some great rice. <laughs> so, so it's like it, it's like now. The black community is all like, oh, yeah, it's, it, they, they won't talk about BLM. No, they won't even say it was a scam. Yeah. So I, I called them bigots, liars, and manipulators. That's what it stood for. <laughs> and then they got pissed off and they cut my video off, right? But mm-hmm. I did this whole thing on it. And it's the plantation black mindset. I go yeah. back to that. It's like you're only a victim because you think you're a victim. I have PTSD. How the hell do you have PTSD from slavery? You don't even exactly. know who your great-grandfather's name was. How do you how do you know you weren't from the north? How do you know that you, you the three thousand black slaves that own twenty thousand slaves you weren't part of that? So mm-hmm. you go down this whole rabbit hole. That's where my my specialty is is politics, mm-hmm. and it it crosses over to red pill mm-hmm. right, and then now into religion. And yeah. that's why I'm glad you're here because this whole society right now, the younger generation is so messed up. They don't know if they should be a boy or girl. Mm-hmm. You know, they're saying white people are racist. They're trying to make white people bad people. They're Mm -hmm. teaching this backwards ideology in school, and they wonder why children are so messed up. Yeah, because it's just blame it all on the white devil. The white devil, right. And now, you know, and and here's here's the funny thing. I talked about this with you. uh, Political regime and the Democrats, they lost the black community. Mm -hmm. It's out. Game's over. they like, you bamboozled us. Okay, great. The Hispanics left. Mm -hmm. All you have is the feminists. And the okay. alphabet soup kids. Mm-hmm. I don't even know the whole alphabet, right? They changed it. They changed it every day. No, like it's not even LGBTQ squared twenty seven eight now. It's like some weird new acronym Plus, now. I I T something. It's like S C C L W. Well, but but the 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 queer and trans they're trying to cut them off because that the gay community doesn't agree with the trans and queer community pushing 
mm-hmm. that their sexual uh, ideology into schools. So they want to yeah. separate. But still, the whole point is you have the alphabet kids and you have the feminists. Mm-hmm. And the feminists that are fighting for women's rights are, are still saying it's okay to have transgender women, which are biological men. Which are taken com- out of women's. Take, <laughs> to go into women's sports that hurt them. And here's the other thing. Why is it that you have a transgender woman, mm-hmm. a biological man, wants to be in the women's bathroom, but you don't got a transgender man fighting to get in the men's bathroom? <clears throat> it's not an issue. No. Because we don't give a fuck who's in our bathroom. Right, we don't give a fuck. Hey, no it's going to smell like shit. You come up in here. <laughs> right, but but you see what I'm saying? When you have children, yeah. the issue is you have children. Yeah. You have your daughter. Yeah. And she's in, 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 in the bathroom, and a man walks in. Yep. Right? And... There's a penis out. How do you explain that? Then, then what happens is your daughter goes to school and they say, no, no, it's okay. That's a transgender woman. You're like, what? And then they try to convince you it's okay. <clears throat> and going a step further, now in California, if you and I commit a felony and we go to prison, I can say, well, I identify as a woman. Dude, I'll be getting so Wait, hold on, hold ass. on. Hold on. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to the women's prison. I'm getting so ass. now you got free ass. <laughs> you know how hey, high pergamy would be a bitch up in there, right? right? But you know how many women are getting raped and having children yep. in the women's. Well, that happened. That happened in what Virginia like two years ago. <clears throat> like three female inmates were got impregnated by like this this tranny that you know. And here, here here's the thing that gets me right. You say you're for women's rights, but. Like when this past like uh, Women's Month, right? I did a video on it. I was like, so we're, Hershey's gave the woman's award to a tranny, right? The president gives a, a woman award to a tranny. I was like, do women just suck? Do real women just suck so much that men are doing better than uh, women? And than the feminist women are? is like, oh, we support them. You just hurt yourself. You yeah. just hurt yourself. Yeah. And it's just like, okay. When you think about like this whole this push, I think the feminists lost control. I don't think they ever wish they get to this far, they're, they're, but they're like, they're like, damn, we're so like invested in it now. We just got to roll with it.